what is going on YouTube? Welcome to episode 18 of the Jimmy World Road to the Show. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We have made it to our debut. 48 and 60 Miami Marlins versus the Cincinnati Reds. Both teams absolutely atrocious, but that's probably why we got called up about halfway through the season. So I'm not mad. I'm glad I finally get to make our uh, my debut here in the major leagues. Here's our AAA stats. We absolutely killed it. It's like a home run every five at bats. 564 batting average, 1.7 OPS. That's just insane numbers. That's crazy. But anyways, we got the Miami BP powder blue on. So do I. And we're ready to debut here. Still waiting for my City Connect jersey to arrive from China. So uh, who knows when that'll get here. But Anyways, we have done it. We finally did. If you're excited for our debut, hit the thumbs up button. Like I said, it took half a season of dominating double A AA and triple A, so I'm not too mad at it. We got Luis Castillo on the bump. Our first at bat comes in the bottom of the first. We're batting third, and there's nobody on. That's going to be hit to center field, and it is a we fly ball to Sensel to end the inning. Anyways, our first at bat, a little anticlimactic. Nothing to show for it, but bottom of the fourth, we're going to get our second at-bat. Get on base after taking the first pitch. Coach gives us the take sign. And our second at-bat after flying out on one pitch, you know what? I feel that. I'm okay with that, Coach. We'll take one. It was it was off the plate anyway. Circle change at 89, no big deal. We're looking for our first hit. We're looking for our first home run, RBI. That was a check swing. All right, I want you to know that I at least attempted to check swing. I just didn't get it, okay? I'm not that bad, but I'm bad. And that's a nasty sinker. Wow, MLB pitching is not easy. This is not as easy as, as AAA. It is definitely not as easy as AA. That's going to be ripped and past the diving Joey Votto. Our first major league hit is a base hit in the 4-3 hole, and we get a single here in the fourth. Can I get that ball, please? Can I please get that ball? Can someone to? Yeah! Yeah! Shout out to Cooper, first baseman, for getting that ball for us. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Put it in my bag or give it to someone to put in the clubhouse for me. We're going we're gonna to definitely have that uh, on my mantle at home. Or I'll sell it on eBay for $10 billion. It'll probably be worth that much. Anyways, we got Jorge Soler batting after us. That is a lot different than having Isan Diaz batting after us, if I'm being honest. So hopefully we get some good stuff with solar power batting after us. Unfortunately, just like Isan Diaz, Jorge Soler, victim of batting fourth behind me, a typical strikeout. We got Corey Dickerson as well. I have not had a single person pick off at first while I'm on first in double A AA or triple A with 45 speed and me leaning back. I did not expect that, so I'm not happy about it. Anyways, Joey Votto out there chit-chatting with me, telling me about his crazy TikToks. If you guys like cringe, I highly suggest you go to Joey Votto's TikTok. I'm going to be honest. I'm not a fan of cringe, so I, I, I don't even like to use that word. But when I saw his last two TikToks, I cringed very, very hard. Um, I don't know what what's going on or uh, what is... Uh, what he believes comedy is, but hey, if it makes him happy, who am I? But it's it's weird. Ground ball to the third baseman, throws over the second baseman, inning over. Enough about it. I'm thinking about Joey Votto's TikTok, and I really don't want to don't want to think about it. Runner on first, one out. Luis Castillo still out there here in the bottom of the six. Slide step. It's a sinker. He's looking for the double play ball. Obviously, I'm looking to elevate and put the ball in the air deep somewhere. Get that runner moving. 88 speed. We just got to find a gap and he'll score. That's another sinker down. That's another spit. All right. We got to get adjusted to this major league pitching. Obviously, guy on the mound is very, very good. Unfortunately, he's playing on a team that's very, very bad. And it's a team that, one, won't rebuild around him and, two, won't trade him. So, very, very confusing stuff in Cincinnati. One of a few teams that I just don't know what's going on. 3-0 count. Only my third at bat here in the major leagues or third plate appearance. I'm taking all the way, and that's a great fastball right on the black at 98. So I think that was a good take. Honestly, we're not looking for something there on 3-0. We're looking for a little bit better pitch, catch a little more of the middle of the plate. And 3-1 is a good hit and run count, so maybe he takes off, and uh, we try to put the ball in play. Let's check it out. 3-1 count. I'm with it if you're with it. Let's get a run, baby. 
That's up and it is not stuck. All right, we fouled that one off. We were very early on 98. The jitters are there, all right? Nervousness is there. We want to perform in front of our new club, debuting in our first game. We got that one off our back, the first hit, and that's okay. That time, we're just fighting that off, staying alive. Too close for comfort. Wasn't sure if it was going to come back or not, so we fought it off. And that's a good take. There's our first walk. I'm going to be honest. The fact that we got our first walk in our first game, that's crazy. Only took three plate appearances, and I walked. That never happens. It normally takes me like 50 games to get a walk because I don't walk often, but I know we got a good pitcher. And I got to be smart. And I saw that sinker. Great read. Great walk. I'm actually very happy with a 3-2 walk. That's a major league at bat. And it's back-to-back -back walks. Jorge Soler takes a walk. And now Corey Dickerson's going to get a chance with the bases loaded. We got a chance to take our first lead of the game here in the bottom of the six. Come on, Corey. All right. I know we are 40 and 60, but I'm here to turn this team around. And Corey's going to pop up in the infield. Infield fly. Joey is there. Runners who can move at their own risk. And now with two outs, we will be moving on contact. 3-0 count to Abisail Garcia. And I'm pretty sure this will probably be a walk on 3-0. And it is. That looked right down the middle of me, but I'm going to take it. I'm all right with no robot umpires. If those are the calls we're going to get. 3-2 count. Runners will be moving. I'm, I'm one of those guys who I would, if I'm a third base coach, I am never sending never sending the guy on third there's no reason for him to run he can walk into the plate and not catch a line drive to the face so if, if your coach ever sends you and you're on third don't go three two count two outs run our bases loaded you don't go oh runners on the corner we've got a chance versus tony santillan let's go ahead and get this run in it's a good fastball all right i'm a little bit nervous i'm nervous it's my first game i don't want to mess up i don't want to swing at bad pitches but we probably missed one to hit a fastball, a slider, and a circle change. All right, so now I know what he's got. We got the fastball again in a great spot. And again, we're, we're, we're pressing at the plate a little bit. Not a bad day so far. One for two with a walk. We can't be mad at it. So let's find a good pitch to hit. And it gets through. Let's go. What are you waiting for? Why were you waiting on that line drive to get through before taking off? There's two outs. You move on contact, but we'll take it our first major league rbi a two-hit game so far nothing crazy but a good day at the office we're showing that we belong here in the major leagues hopefully this isn't a trial run and they're looking to use one of my options and send me back we're looking to be the third baseman for this team we are two for three two singles and a walk i don't think i've even had a defensive opportunity so far but i'm not complaining it, it so far so good plain and simple we got jorge back up two two count it is not up the middle, and we're safe at second. Good hustle. Way to get in there. And now the bases are once again juiced for Corey Dickerson. Please do not leave six runners stranded in two at-bats. Please, for the love of God. One-two count. Just a nice little base hit. Center field. We'll score two. I'll even extend my lead and then shuffle, shuffle. Good second there, and you're going to strike out. I'm going to be honest, Corey. Uh... I played in double A and triple A for this organization. I am used to a lot of those, so not a big deal. Here we go. We got Jonathan India. We are playing. We are playing no doubles defense. Yeah, because we are we have that line covered. To my left, five, four, three double play. I gotta check out who my infield is, because that is definitely not a gentleman by the name of Jazz Chisholm. It's not JJ Bleede. I don't know what this infield looks like, but that might be why we've got a spot. Nick Madrigal at second. Khalil Watson at short batting 184. Uh, riddle me that. Top of the nine, though, we've got two outs, and we are one out away. We got Kyle Farmer. We went from no ground balls to back-to-back -back ground balls. Our one to catch. Please get that. Come on, come on, come on. All right, this is a, a little too slow. I'm a little bit disappointed. The meter popped up. It didn't pop up when I initially pressed square, so I pressed it again. Then it didn't go high enough, and we were going to throw it away. Trevor Rogers, I hope I did not blow your complete game shutout. We're going to end up with a win, eight and two-thirds. I could have got him that complete game shutout, and A.J. Minter comes in and gets a save. I'm a little bit disappointed by that. I'm going to be honest. I'm not happy about that. 
Here we go, baby. Back at Lone Depot Park for game two. We got to shake off yesterday. Got to remember, we got a dub. We're not making our debut. This is game two. We got a dub, which was very important. We got two hits and a walk. We played solid defense. Unfortunately, we weren't able to help Trevor out on that play. Or is it Taylor Rogers? We weren't able to help Rogers on that play. And now we got to help our team climb out of a 2-0 hole. Sandy Alcantara gave up two runs early on. We got Mike Miner on the bump. First pitch slider, and that's a good take. We got a... Oh, nobody on. I don't know why I thought somebody was on. Which wouldn't make sense because he's throwing it from the windup. But here we go. A 1-1 count back-to-back -back sliders from Mike Miner. You're going to see some good pitches here in the majors. That's up. That's a good take. That is borderline, but that is a good take. Major leagues, that's a strike. Even if it touches any part of the zone, it is a strike. MLB The Show just needs half of the ball. Anyways, first at bat, we are going to fly out to right center field. And not enough on that one. Not enough juice. Not enough mustard. Not enough strength. We got to hit the weight room. Sandy Alcantara back out. Kyle Farmer. The guy who hit it to me last night. Flies out to left field. And he is there for out number two. All right, hopefully Sandy can settle down. And hopefully we can help our club with a couple of hits in back-to-back -back game. Game two, we got a runner on in our second at bat. Let's get a base hit. That's up. That's a good take. I'm a bit, I've been a little bit better. I'll say this. Even though the power hasn't shown up yet, it's major league pitching. I've been good with my pitch selection for the most part. Is that one gone? Is that our first home run? Is that our first home run? We pull it foul just a little bit. 6.3 feet outside of the pole. And it is a foul ball. 1-1 one, one count. We'll do it again. Ah! We almost get that one. And once again, we pull it foul. We're very out in front of that 92 mile an hour fastball. Going to have to sit back here just a little bit. Make an adjustment. Go get it energized. That's a good take. Circle change just dips away, and it's even at two. We got three fastballs and then the changeup, so very classic sequencing. Let's see what we got. That's down, and once again, 90 miles an hour. We are uh, a tad bit early. Not a tad bit early. We've been very early. So three fastballs in the bottom of the zone. I'm not sure what he's going to do here. That's a good fight. That's a pitch out of the zone, but that's a good fight with two strikes. Don't want to take that. Again, we've got may, might have to anchor the PCI down, judging by where he's throwing it so far. So we'll see, maybe. Inside, and it's foul. All right, we're fighting, but we're fouling off a lot of balls. We're going to have to put one in play and go from very early to maybe just early. Can we get? Can we do that? There we go, line drive, and that's going to drop. Is that going to be our first extra base hit? Oh, he turned the corner hard. But he put the brakes on, and that is a base hit to left. We'll take it, and we will move. We will take it, all right? We fought off a lot of pitches, finally got a good one to hit, and put it over the shortstop's head for a base hit. Here we go, Jorge Soler, one swing away from giving us a lead here in the fourth. 3-2 count. You going? I'll tag along if you go. Nope. We'll shuffle, shuffle, and there is strike three on the fastball. Good pitch by Mike Miner. To get the K, but it's all good. We got Avisail tonight hitting fifth instead of Corey. After a lackluster performance last night, I don't blame you, Skip. Mike delivers. Bad swing. I don't know if I can break this. I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to. He's not on the bag. Let's go. Pulls him off the bag. Safe at first. The moose is not loose. We have bases loaded now for Garrett Cooper. Come on, Garrett. Base hit here. That's on the ground. A second opportunity for a double play. He throws it away. He's got the, everyone's got the yips today. Two runs will score on the E4. And this game is tied. When you put the ball in play, good things happen. This time, Moose gets a good one. Not the best throw to Jonathan India. And he sails it. That might be why. I mean, you had all day to throw it. You didn't have to throw from down here. But not the best feed from Moose, if I'm going to be honest. And now, Vladimir Gutierrez on the mound. Runner on first, and we got a three-run lead in the fifth. That's ripped, but it's a slider at 83. All right, let's take a look at his repertoire, see what he's got. Best thing to do, always look at what they've got. Fastball, 91 and 95. Slider, 
sweeping curve and a circle change. So we know everything's going to move in. Uh, the circle change might dip away, but nothing, nothing hard dipping away. That's up and in. So that's, that's very important. You want to make sure they don't have like a two seamer or a sinker, something that it comes with velocity and will tail away. Because when you see that, you know to lay off the two seamers and sinkers. Anyways, we don't lay off that fastball and we fly out to center field for the first out. We are in the major, so we got to expect that it's not going to be as easy as it was in AAA. Bottom of the seventh, we'll get one more chance versus Vladimir Gutierrez. Three-run ball game. That's ripped and it's past Joey Votto. Are you going? Come on. Take that extra 90 feet. That throws offline. And look at that. We're developing a rival with Vladimir. We love to see it. And there is another hit. Back-to-back -back games with multiple hits. That ball was just ripped. And here we go. 3-2 count for Jorge. Hip, hip, Jorge. If you go, I go. If you go, 3-2 count. We can both double steal. Uh-oh. Oh, baby! It is going to be good to have him hitting after us. I'm expecting a lot of those into the pen, into the Miami night. And Jorge Soler showing off that Soler power. A three-run blast, number 26 on the season before the break. And that is going to extend our lead. Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming back. You know what? It may be tough with Philadelphia, New York Mets, and uh, the Nationals. But we can come back. And I even forgot the Atlanta Braves. Oh, this is its not the easiest divisions, but we can come back. We can come back. with the, if, I, if I can inspire these guys as a rookie, we can come back. We're going to get one more at bat versus Art Warren. That's a good check swing. Yes, nope, nope, nope. Only 12,000 people watching us in the major leagues. I have just as much people watching me in AAA. That is crazy. Four to nine. I don't want to say that I swung at that pitch because that's embarrassing, but I definitely swung at that pitch. Uh, thank you, MLB The Show, for bailing me on that one, if I'm being honest. That slider was nasty. That's ball three. You know what? I'm going to do the smart thing. Back-to-back -back games with a walk. That would be insane. Not something we do ever on this channel. Two for four already on the day. Pitcher, erratic, nowhere near the zone. We take one. That's fine. And it was a beautiful 97 mile an hour fastball. There's no way I would have been early on that. Beautiful 97 mile an hour fastball. And we just we just watched it all the way through. There it is. Let's go. It was worth it. Our first major league home run. A shot to right field. Let's go. Yes. Beautiful shot to right. Worth it to take all the way. 104 off the bat. 408 to right. And we will touch them all. Why is no one excited to watch me hit a home run? Why does this crowd look like that they're angry that we are winning here in Miami? What is wrong with these Miami folk? Can, can you guys pretend to care? Can you guys pretend to care? Anyways, we get our first home run. We get two wins. I believe Sandy gets the win. So that's good to see. And we'll celebrate with the boys, the outfielders. Doing their thing. So Lair obviously had a big shot. We had our first one. Hopefully someone returns that ball to us in exchange for like a bobblehead and, you know, two tickets to the next game, which nobody else will show up and probably only cost like $8 anyways. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We will hop into game number three, hopefully, of the series and the series finale. So far, we've had a great debut. We've won the series. If this is a three-game series, obviously. Oh, we got Jacob Stallings on our team? Wait, he, no, we had Jose Lobaton. I'm going to have to check the transactions. But we got Tristan McKenzie. Oh, good curveball. Tristan McKenzie traded to Cincinnati. So I'm going to have to look at all the transactions, see where everybody went. That's the thing with MLB The Show. You don't get called up. And by the time you do, nothing is the same. Back-to-back -back good pitches from Tristan and uh, we've not been close, but the problem is he's got a good fastball, 94 mile an hour. Good take there. That one's way away. 12-6 curveball obviously breaks away or it breaks uh, arm side. And here we go. That one we're not going to take. That is slapped to left field, and it is a base hit. Fastball up and away. We stay with the pitch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm not fast enough to take that base, so you don't have to worry. But there it is. Three games. Three-game hit streak. 
We got our home run out of the way, monkey off our back. We're ready to play baseball. Jorge Soler is batting 228. All right. It's better. And at least I know that with that 228, we'll at least get some slugging. So it could be worse. And as long as our pitching can tighten up a little bit, I can see us coming back. Jorge Soler. Like I said, he's going to slug. He's going to slug. And with me in the lineup, I'm going to get him more at bats. Another home run, 27 for Jorge Soler. 104 off the bat, 376 to left. He will touch them all. He went down and got that, I feel like. Yeah, he went down and got that pitch out of the zone. And he absolutely crushed it into the bullpen for a two-run shot. And here we go. We got a big shift on. Might be gone next season, but now we'll play some shortstop. Moustakis. Yep, that's a base hit. That ball was rocketed. And is going to get through for a base hit here in the second. Pablo Lopez could not take care of Moose. That pitch is center, center. That sinker did not sink. There was just no way we were getting that. Unless we weren't shifted. Maybe we would have had it. Chucky Robinson, a speedy catcher. Okay, not good to know. He's bunting. 67 speed. And we can't even make the bare hand. And there's an infield hit for Chucky. Bunting on the rookie, you son of a gun. And he gets the base hit. So it was a good decision, but you know that pisses me off. Bottom of the fourth, we still got Tristan on the mound. Come on, baby. Good take. We spit on that. Easy spit. Only 91 today, so sit back a little bit. Only 91, but he's got good off-speed. A splitter, 12-6, and a change-up. Yeah, good off-speed stuff. That's up. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, that was the R1. We ground out to second base to Jonathan India. Good timing. PCI placement was not perfect. And that is out number one. Third at bat of the day is once again against Tristan. And here we go. Bottom six. That's inside. Good take. Splitter. Easy take. Easy spit. 1-0. That's... I'm going to be honest, I thought I hit a home run. I thought I was going to get a hold of that one, but we were early. That one's gone. Oh, perfect, fir perfect, our first perfect, perfect in the majors, and it dumps in for a single. Honestly, if we get under that just a little bit, that is 450 to center field, but we will take another multi-hit game and give a Jorge Soler another opportunity to hit with a runner on. He's two for two on the day. But it's an 0-2 count. Inside, nope, I tried to break that up, and that's going to be turned double play. Votto to Farmer, back to Votto, and they turned a 3-6-3 double play. Votto's out there thinking about making new TikToks and doing weird dances to piss me off is, is what he's doing. Anyways, we move. Hopefully, we still have this lead in the top of the eighth. We do. Pablo Lopez, 82 pitches deep. Max Schrock at the plate. Please don't bunt. That's it to my left. Couple steps over. We're not even going to take a step. And we make a little bit of an odd throw, but we make the play. And we lost the lead. We gave up a four spot. We gave up a four stop. All right. All right. So uh, really quickly, really quickly, box score. We gave up four runs. Uh, Cincinnati Reds. All right. All right. Uh, Lopez with the blown save. Seven and two thirds. They bring in Lopez and he blows uh, the save. Third blown save of the year. So mm, maybe you should have kept in other Lopez in. And we'd probably not have a four run, a two run deficit after being winning all game would have been nice to sweep unfortunately it's not looking good bottom of the ninth we're gonna get one at bat obviously since it's, obviously since we blew the save but we're now down by two runs typical miami fashion no one is surprised that is ripped foul 95 on the inner third and we end up spoiling it. He's got a four seam at 97 slider slurve and a circle change. That's going to be ripped as well. Oh, sit back. Sit back. I thought it was, uh, oh, no. He's got two, a slurve and a slider. Kind of similar pitches, but you do what you got to do. That's inside, and we are unable to get the barrel on it, and we're going to fly out to right field. I think that's going to be that. Anyways, other than that, it's been a pretty successful debut. Minus blowing that game and taking the... Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I'll catch you guys in episode 19. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up. You don't got to subscribe. But if you want to, go ahead. I'll catch you guys in the next video.
Peace.